Welcome to Auto Retro, the podcast where we talk to guests about the cars of their lives. And uh, David, you know this guest better than me. I, Who I, do we have in the I studio? Do. I've, I've known our guest for many years now. Um, our guest originally studied fine art and art history in South Australia, um, then industrial design before having a very successful career in the automotive industry. Um, today, after changes in the automotive industry, which probably proved to be um, very fortuitous in the long run. Um, he's an accomplished full-time exhibiting artist, predominantly paints plain air style, which is in, the, in place, usually outside. Not um, cheating. No, not at all, <laughs> not at all. Uh, has many, many awards and group and solo exhibitions, both in Australia and overseas. Welcome, John Burt. Thank you. Thanks, David. Hello, John. Thanks, Thanks for coming along. Okay. So yeah, good to be here. Yeah, I'm, I'm We've just enjoyed a lovely chicken dinner. Yeah, we have. And now we we're have. all fat and giggly. We're going to talk about cars. <laughs> exactly. So as we do on Auto Retro, John, what? How far back does your association with cars? What's one of your your earliest car memory? Oh well, gee, it takes me back to about four years old. Yeah. Okay. And, That's and, about the um, right time. My uncle in Broken Hill had a, a Riley Roadster. And which I think only about five ever came into Australia. Okay. Yeah, and this thing was so long, two doors, two seat. Yes. And it was bright red, and uh, I'd never forget that. that was, no. Yeah. Bright red. That's bright. unusual for the time too. Well, it was. Like that. Yeah. They would have been a lot of black ones yeah. or, or dark green. Yeah. The car's still around too. It's in Sydney. So, wow. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I remember mm. I owned a Riley not that long ago, just as a slight sideline, and there was the mm. you know the two point five Rileys and then the one point five Rileys. Right. But I didn't even know they did a roadster, and mm. I was flicking through something online and thought, "Oh, is that, has someone mocked that up?" Or, <laughs> yeah. You know, it, it had that look about it that wasn't mm. quite elegant or wasn't mm. quite right. But mm. um, yeah, sure enough, it's a thing. It mm. is big and huge doors on them. Mm. Yeah, well, I had a really long, sort of elongated rear on it, which yep. didn't look quite right actually in retrospect. But, <laughs> as, yeah. a de- as a designer, now, now you can say that. <laughs> as a designer, can you can say, say that, that now. Yeah. Exactly. But, you know, at the time, it was just spectacular, you know. Yes. Yeah. Mm. And it was designed uh, mainly for the American market. Okay. Yeah, but it was never successful there because it was competing then against, uh, you know, MG and everyone else, the Atlantic, the Austin Atlantic. Austin Atlantic, oh, the A- A- A-90 Atlantic, A- wasn't A-90 it? A-90 Atlantic, yeah. and then, you know, uh, the Jowett Jupiter. Oh, yes. And all of those cars <laughs> yes. all came out, and this was just as oddball as what they were. And, yeah. yeah. But it was never successful. No. Yeah. My friend always, always, his dad always used to love saying Jowett Jupiter, Jowett Jupiter. Because yeah. <laughs> he, he had a Dutch friend, and he was like, that's how Yawath he would Jupiter. pronounce it. <laughs> yes, I've got the Jowett Jupiter. <laughs> well, in another, but I, I never knew that about you, John, and in another bizarre aside, mm-hmm. uh, a mutual friend david day his mm. father his first car in japan was a riley roadster oh, really? so you can imagine how wow. bizarre in japan in japan that would have been in the 50s yeah. that was crazy exactly. yeah, it was wow. actually featured in a, a riley magazine user david found some old photos when it was actually featured in a movie wow uh, over there because it was so out there and yeah. so bizarre but yeah so wow. interesting mm. riley roadster riley yeah. what a tangent <laughs> they're a thing <laughs> <laughs> so that, that's your thought. first memory <laughs> my first yep and mm-hmm. then where did where did it go from there did your what cars did your parents have then or what else did you ride around well dad had a whole lot of cars but he he was in the air force in the second world war and mad keen on airplanes of course yep. and cars so mm. as mum was um so we had a whole lot of cars. There were Vauxhalls and anything that he could get his hands on after the war. Really. Mm. Yes, it was a big shortage. It was a big shortage. Was but yeah, but mm. before the war, he had um, a Chev that yep. he hotted up. and <laughs> They were easily <laughs> tweakable. They were. It's yeah. in the blood. Too. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. <laughs> but yeah, we, and then he um, bought a Vanguard yep. uh, that rounded, I think it was a... That 50s? Yeah, 50, yes. it would have been 52, yeah. mm-hmm. 51, 52. Yeah. And that was a pretty neat car for that time, yeah. So that that was mm. kind of when we really started to get into cars. I got interested in cars, but, you know, it was always there. Dad was always talking about cars and, yep. you know, mad keen on... So you were force-fed a bit of car uh, we, DNA. Yeah, I was a bit, yeah. 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 Didn't have to... Oh, yeah, I was a welcome... It was welcome, yeah, yeah, that, you know, absolutely. And, and yeah, I was just yeah dying to get. And is it car. is it just you and your brother? You mentioned your brother earlier uh, yep. when we were at dinner. Mm-hmm. You're the only two, so we had a sister, yeah, but uh, okay. she's not around. But mm, mm. and were the, the other kids though? Were they sort of the, uh, tarnished with the car DNA brush? Absolutely. As well? And I had I had um, three uncles. 
on yeah. my mum's side who were all car fanatics. Oh, you had no hope, John. No, no. <laughs> no, hope. no hope at all. And one race to motorbike. He's still around, actually. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Wow. He's in his 80s now. And, and, uh, yeah. Still racing? No, not racing. <laughs> <laughs> well, I bet he, bet he, in a bet he wishes he was. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I bet he races up and down that hallway. He does. He oh, does. that, that walker is, you know, <laughs> yeah. he lubed those wheels. Yeah. Yeah. So this was in Broken Hill, which is, yep. is not the centre of Sydney. So, I mean... No. You know, the fact of, of whatever could filter through, I suppose, mm. car, you know, anything a bit unusual would have been a real mm. rarity anyway. Yeah. Well, mum, mum had a 1938 Buick and um, wow. she she drove that around. That was her first car that her, her father bought for her. So, wow. Yeah. So, um, yeah. And so then moving, moving on, yep. do you remember the first car you drove? Yeah, I did. It was... Uh, an early would have been an early fifties uh, t- Thames Trader truck. Oh, oh Thames Trader! Oh yeah, that's like that a yeah. baptism of fire. Isn't <laughs> it was. It? <laughs> it's like if you can drive that, you can drive anything. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Okay. Yeah, that was on the farm. Though we had a farm at yeah. that stage in the Adelaide Hills, and Dad had this Thames Trader, but it had this fantastic side valve V eight that sounded fantastic. Wow. Um, and long stroke motor, and yeah. So and was that was that a normal gearbox, like a normal yeah. H pattern gearbox? Yeah, yeah, it was. And it wasn't high low range or anything silly. It was no, just, just no, no. Gear, gear, gear. It was pretty normal. crude. Yeah. yeah. But uh, they they were English, but um, I think they came out. They had a pilot motor in them. You know the okay Ford pilot. Ford pilot yep. motor. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yep. Yeah, it's a great thing though. It sounded fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> and so your first car that you bought. Or, oh, sorry, no, we've got to learn to drive first, haven't we? I mean, oh, we, yeah, we had yeah. our what first did, drive. Yeah, what did you learn? Oh, well, I, I, we had a Ferguson tractor too, so I, I learned... <laughs> <laughs> were I any learned of them on the road? I, was, <laughs> I, I could see how fast I had to go around the corner. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So. <laughs> but uh, fun. Yeah, we had that in a slide on a wet, grassy uh, paddock one, so yeah. Was that a, a grey so Ferguson? The, was the, the, yeah, baby, yeah, the little yeah, grey one? With a blue stripe on it. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Type thirty five, I think they were. Because isn't that they, they refer They're to? They're quite them, collectible now. Yeah, oh, the, yeah. Is that the one they refer to as the the, the, the grey Fergie, yeah, the, the baby yeah, Fergie? Yeah, 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 yeah. And they're on every farm. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. They were everywhere everywhere. Mm. And, and used and and mostly probably destroyed over over time. Mm. So yeah. not they're not worth. I've have seen a few for sale on the side of the road, mm. you know, over the last few years, and they're they sort of two, three, four grand. Yeah. Like that. And I almost <laughs> entertained buying one once because mm. <laughs> my parents have got one acre, and I thought one acre. Is that enough for a tractor? Yeah. Mm. No, is no, the answer. No, is the answer. I thought However, it would be cool. It would be fun. I thought it would be cool. Mm. To do. But they had the Vanguard motor in it. That was a connection. So, oh, you know, oh okay. Dad had yeah. the Vanguard. Then he, he bought. The so he could hot up the tractor, basically. Yeah, yeah. Right. I know the I know the ins and outs of this tractor. Yeah. Never mind. Yeah. Yeah. So that's track. That's truck, and then that's tractor. tractor yes. What about car? What uh, next? Well, uh, mum and dad had a, an Fe Holden. And they bought that new, and then mm-hmm. I kind of acquired that. Acquired, that. yeah, yeah. Learned yep. to drive and acquired that. And that would have been car. what? If that's three on the tree. Yeah, yeah. manual. Yep. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. yep, yep, nice. Mm. And that would have seemed like a, oh, I don't know, an S class Merc or a yeah. Rolls compared <laughs> well, to the yeah. other cars. Compared to the Thames Trader, I'm guessing. Smoothness yeah. of it, mm. you know. Yeah, well, it was it was cheap and cheerful, and it was yep. good, you know, because then I was studying, so it was a, got me around, and yeah, yep. yeah. Yep. yeah. So Nothing like good Australian-made product. Ah, it was no. bulletproof. Mm. That's been, interesting because most um, Chrysler were building in Adelaide back mm, then, mm. too, weren't they? Tonsley Park. Yeah, yeah. So it, it, I always found um, people from South Australia to be quite parochial about the, the cars that, that were built in Adelaide. Mm. They were very popular over there. So, oh, they were, yeah. So there wasn't a Holden plant, I don't think, in... Oh, oh Elizabeth. Elizabth, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, of there course was. I've actually done a tour of the Elizabeth plant. Yeah, well, the original one was in Woodville, actually. Oh, okay, okay. Not so far from where we used to live, but then... Oh, there you go. There's that yeah. local knowledge coming yeah. in. Yeah. And then they moved to Elizabeth, yeah. Yeah, yeah. okay, okay. Mm. So that was, you inherited that car. I kind of did, yeah, yeah. And then then what what was the first one after that that you bought with your own hard-earned farm farming pocket money? <laughs> <laughs> the one that you thought, oh, that's what I want. That's the one well, I want. Well, yeah. Uh, yeah, you always got it by your heart, which is good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, I got a job at Chrysler after I kind of left oh, uni. Okay. and. Um, so uh, let's rewind slightly. What did you study at uni? Well, just about everything, but... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I was I a doctor, a vet, I, could, I couldn't make up my mind, but yep. it was mainly art, art history and uh, cool. then engineering. I did some engineering as well. Okay. But I, I it's managed, an unusual mix. I know it was, yeah. But I 
it was the car thing coming out, you know, yes. that, that's where it kind of... And then the industrial design just yeah, dovetailed the whole exactly. thing together. So then I did industrial design at School of Mines in Adelaide. So. Beautiful. So then I, with the engineering bit, I know it gets really confusing, but I got a job at Chrysler. Um, that was in 1969. This is in Adelaide. In Adelaide, yep. July yep. 69. And what was, it, what was your title at that first Well, time? I was kind of working in engineering, doing... Uh, go for jobs basically but uh, so you weren't we can't say John Burt was responsible for the <laughs> ashtray no in, in, in the Chrysler by Chrysler no, no. <laughs> for big men to put their cigarettes out yeah, in their cigars cigars, 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 cigars. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. can't say that no no no, no but I um, I had a hankering to get into design and um, I was you know through that sort of you know technical background and all that sort of stuff and and doing millions and millions of different drawings and things, but yeah, Chrysler was sort of going, heading into a bad place at the time, so okay. I thought, well, I didn't want to stick around there. So. But maybe, <laughs> maybe you could have made such a difference. Mm. Did you Did you remember thinking at the time, I could do a better job than this, you know, these yeah. guys don't know what they're doing. Mm. Well, <laughs> I did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to be we frank, all, I did. Absolutely. We, we all did when you're young. And, yeah, that's, you know, right. that's yeah, right. You, you just, have all the answers. Yeah, yeah. 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 you got all the answers. You know everything. <laughs> that's so, right. That's right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but I, I did. I did buy a Valiant Pacer with my first. Oh, okay. Mm. okay. Now that's uh, that's got me sitting up a little straighter. Yeah, that's yes, an yes. exciting car. Yeah. So it was a, a two four five. It was original VG. Yep. Two four five, and um, <clears throat> I had it. A four door or a two door? Four door. Okay. And I had it uh, sprayed. Well. It, it was a special order. It was in that sort of dark green, chartreuse green. Beautiful. Yeah. Okay. With black stripes. Yeah. So, and a black. And this hood. was a brand new car. Yeah. 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 Which yeah. is quite. So a, you that's ordered. That's quite it. a racy car for a young mm. man. Yeah. That's. Well, it was. Mm. At the time, it was about 147 kilowatts. So. <sighs> and wow, had heaps okay. of torque. I mean, for a that's six the, cylinder. Yeah. The slant six. Yes. Uh, no, no, it was the, the Hemi. Hemi. Oh, the Hemi. Mm. Yes. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. And so I I got rid of the. The wheels and hubcaps on that, and put on some mag <laughs> wheels. We had it lowered and, and wow. put, put extractors on it. Yep. And Ooh. then I put a, a water cooled uh, intake manifold. So. It, and now it's more than 147 kilowatts. Uh, a lot more. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Okay. So that, it really. That's blew. a cracking car. That oh, brings wow. back a great memory for me. Uh, mm. For me, oh, great scary memory. My uh, an old girlfriend of one of my brothers. Dad had one, I think, mm-hmm. and came around one night. He just bought it and wanted to take me, you know, wanted because you know, I was into cars. Oh, look at this! Come on, Dave. I, I couldn't in. get into it. I just thought I was going to die in that car. Mm. It was that. Why? Because it, it was too loud. It was too loud. It was too hotted up. It was too. It was too. <laughs> too everything. You know, for a did you get nine, a nine-year-old? Yeah. Did no, you I don't think went? I ever had. A you ride. never went. I don't think I ever had a ride. <laughs> oh, but it was like it was David. like <laughs> it looked like death on wheels. Mm. You know, like it was looked so. <laughs> You're very risk year old. Oh, no, I know. Very risk averse. You know <laughs> <laughs> so the Pacer lasted for a few years. And well, no, yeah, you two, had some... two years, but then <clears throat> I, uh, well, the Charger came out when of I was course. there. Of oh. course. And all that. Charger. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, Charger. you know, with the triple Webbers and all that stuff. Mm. And, yeah, but Chrysler weren't doing all that great. And uh, there wasn't much future there, you know, to get into car design, so... There was I a applied. sniff of Mitsubishi in the wind. Well, exactly. Yeah. That's right. Mm, you yes. see where it was all headed. Not so. that there's anything wrong with that, Dave. No, no, no. no, no, no. <laughs> well, they might have been back then. They might yeah. Have been. <laughs> Probably back in the 70s, <laughs> yeah. South yeah, Australia. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. There was the Colt and the Galant. Yes, yes. Yeah. 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 yeah, so uh, I applied for a job at Ford in Melbourne. So, mm. so that's, that's, that what, that's what brought move, you obviously. over. That's yeah. what brought me over, yeah. yeah. Mm. Okay. And so this was the year 1973. Three. Okay. Yep. Mm. And they said, Welcome John Burt, come come to Broad Meadows, I'm guessing. Mm-hmm. 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 Yep. Um, yep. so we had we had Mark One Escort. Yep. Uh, we had X A Falcon. Capri. Capri, yes. Oh, yeah. Original Capri. Capri. Original Capri. Yeah. Yes. Four yep. cylinder and six cylinder. That's right. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. The GT. Yeah. Yep. Okay, so mm. some pretty what cool else was, what else Australian was around cars then? that are worth a lot of money these Cortina? days. Cortina. Oh yes, Cortina. Cortina. Is that TC? T C C. Yep. The one with the Coke bottle rear yeah. door. Oh, yep. the, well, there was the Mark One, Mark Two. Oh, okay. Yep. Yeah, but then there was the Coke bottle one, which was the yeah. TC. Yeah, TC. Mm-hmm. And there would have been. Was there a fair lane then with the stacked yeah, headlights? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. There was. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Um, fair lane. The big fair lane, which was very American esque. That's right. Yeah. Mm. yeah. And then there was the original P6 LTD as well. And the Landau. Let's not forget the Landau. Oh, Landau. Landau. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Mm. Yeah. Yes. It had the. The hidden headlamps. Oh yeah, yes. yeah, the, yes. the and, and the and the huge uh, hubcaps that yeah, stuck out yeah. about 
Yes, yeah, seven if, eight if they flew off, they would kill someone. Yeah, <laughs> yeah very <laughs> solid. <Yeah. laughs> so you had nothing to do with the land out, did you? No. It was a bit before your time. That it would have been signed time. off. Yeah. But mm. was it true mm. that the land out was... They all had vinyl roofs because mm. they were basically a hard top mm. and they had a... a, a little bit of extra metal tack welded into that C right. pillar area yep. and it was so bodgily done that that's why they all had vinyl roofs padded vinyl and that's roofs. padded vinyl roofs and so that's why the landau it had that special roof line it was specific mm. to the landau mm. but it was like it was concealing spot nastiness welded, uh, exactly that's right yeah. <laughs> mm. whatever works whatever <laughs> <laughs> works and it <laughs> just so it happened it vinyl, was 1973 vinyl yeah, roofs yeah. were quite uh, popular that's exactly right yeah. 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 Mm. why not <clears throat> and the buttoned leather seats like the old Chesterfield like a Chesterfield <laughs> yeah <laughs> 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 and the, the aircraft controls for the yes for the, the heater heater and air conditioner yeah, in the yeah, console yeah I'm going to have to look up more photos of landaus after landaus so you walked into forward amongst the smattering of cars yes mm -hmm. and what was your actual role were you were you as part of the design team working mm -hmm. on interior features and things uh that... i started well then i was doing design work uh, exterior design work so exterior okay yeah well, so then we were just finalizing the xp and that was coming out um well that year actually yep it came out and then the, my the, the first project that I really worked on was the XC. So okay. Yep. Really got into that with, which was the the best looking of those X. It it was. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's why. That was the, the, the last, thing. wasn't it? Before the XD. That's right. That's yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah. So, is there any particular part of an XC Falcon that you can lay claim to? Well, yeah, the uh, front end of the GLX. I okay. Did, I did that with the rectangular headlamps. Lovely. Yes. That, that was all my work. Nice. Yeah. Nice mm. work. Yeah. I feel I feel a bit like we've got someone very famous <laughs> yes. on the podcast. Uh, well, that was yeah. the Fairmont GXL. Yeah, Fairmont that, GXL. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Yeah. Mm. Wow. And then, so that role, you were with Ford quite a, quite a number of years. Mm. Yep. Mm -hmm. So run us through some of the car, and we'll get back to cars that you've owned and driven, of course, but mm -hmm. run us through some of the cars in your Ford life that you had mm. a hand in. Well, um, then there was the XD. Uh, which uh, was a big, a huge. That, that was a big huge, step. Big like, that was a massive yeah. jump. Well, that was. was Project Blackwood. Yeah, that's right, Blackwood. Yeah, that's right. Why that's right. do they call it Project Blackwood? Uh, well, it's just a code name. <laughs> yeah, they, code all, name. they all had separate names. Yeah, and they, it was just all code Ford Project speak. Project yeah. Blackwood. So obviously, Ford were across the fact that the Commodore was on its way, which was. Mm. The, the Opal record, basically, that was reimagined for Australia, mm. if, mm. if you like. Yeah, right. So that came out in, I think, 78, October 78, 78, 78 exactly. somewhere around. Yeah, that's right, yeah. And then the uh, XD mm. was 79, mm. early 79, wasn't it? Mm. But there was a lot of toing and froing with XD, the XD because Sir Brian Ingalls, who was there at the time, uh, was really pushing for that car, but a lot of marketing and product planning people wanted to do a smaller car to compete with the Commodore. Commodore, yes. Mm. So there was, we did a lot of there was a Capricorn program that happened actually to, to build a smaller um, Falcon. Oh, okay. And a lot of it was based on the Cortina. Yep. And so Which was still around then, wasn't yeah. it? That last, oh, yeah. what was that yeah, last TE? TE. Yeah, yeah, that yeah, was TE, TF. Yeah, so that was going to get stretched and uh, turned <laughs> wow, into a Falcon. Wow, okay. Yeah. Thankfully, that never happened. And, uh, <laughs> and then, you know, we proceeded with the XD, which was kind of loosely based on the Granada and yeah in, in the uk yeah um and that was all signed off and yeah so brian Ingalls was the main one who pushed all that actually right and it was, and it was, it was seemingly the right decision because was. there was still mm. an appetite for that mm. size of car that's right yeah it was proven later on that, you yeah know, that in the marketplace that people accepted that that's what they yeah. wanted yeah mm. and am i right in saying ford through the 80s with falcon versus commodore mm. ford really did dominate did. through the 80s oh, yeah. Mm. absolutely yeah, yeah. Yeah, a, a lot of people weren't, and I remember when they came out, there was a lot of talk, um, probably driven from Ford because they were the sort of the second, second one to the show. But mm. uh, the, they were they really weren't in the same class of car anyway. There mm. wasn't there wasn't a thing to be made by the Australian public because the Commodore was a smaller car mm. and mm. The Ford was the full size yeah, car, full size car. Full <laughs> size yeah. car. But yeah. obviously, everybody compared the two, mm. didn't they? Yeah, and I think General Motors kind of felt like they needed to catch up. You know, that was when they started to, you know, improve or in increase the size of the car. So, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Fatten the Commodore. Yeah. They did. Mm -hmm. They did. Till that, and then 
they six, they went with the basically the same frame until the mm. VN basically yeah, didn't yeah, it? Yeah, went right. through to yeah. 1990. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Yeah. Mm. So uh, where were we before that? I was the XD. That there was a, there was XD. XD. I was going to say my dad. Um, he's had a series of Fords through the late seventies and eighties, mm. and one of them, the earliest one I can remember, really was the XD S Pack wagon. Oh yeah, yeah. Which was the, a rich cream color with yeah. the red, red stripe, stripe and the yes. S, yeah. and it had Heller <laughs> driving <laughs> lamps on it. And mm. I remember the little cover. It had little covers on it that said yep. Hella. Yeah. And I was always like, why does it say Hella? What does mm. that mean as a kid? You know? <laughs> but it had no power he steering. Because he'd, he'd never had power steering, ah. so he didn't know what he was missing. Yeah. Um, he's like, oh, I don't need power steering. <laughs> a bit like, oh, I don't need Bluetooth now. Well, you know, <laughs> yeah. you, you'd hear the same arguments yeah. from numerous people. Yeah. Mm. And then once you've had it for a week, you're like, ooh. Well, how did I do without that? Yes. And, and that was exactly what happened with his next Ford after mm. that, which was a Fairlane yeah. later on. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Actually, my mother-in-law, had, they persisted with uh, power steer being optional mm-hmm. right through <coughs> X uh, E as well. Mm-hmm. Uh, we had uh, she had an X E Fairmont yeah. mm-hmm. with no power steering, and I think it was five turns lock to lock. Yeah. It was some incredibly. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's a heavy car. Heavy car, no power steering. Oh, yeah. yeah, wasn't, a, wasn't Pump a those tires up. Nice <laughs> yeah, turn, you know? <laughs> sixty pounds. The, of the only front tires. way around yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. So you were there for XD, and then moving into the eighties, there was a whole new range of cars. We mentioned some at dinner. It was mm. The Telstar, mm-hmm. which was a 626, yeah. that's a pretty big launch. That was. That was huge. Was that as big as Laser, do you think? Or do you think Laser? No, Laser was it's bigger. It's a bigger car Laser than the Laser, David. It's yeah. a bigger car, but not as big a launch. <laughs> so, no, I would have thought Laser was bigger. <laughs> Laser was bigger, yeah. yeah. So yeah. that was basically a, a re-engineered version of the front-wheel drive Mazda 323. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, <laughs> which is really a, a new Escort, isn't it? Well, it was. It re- uh, replaced the Escort. Replaced the Escort, yeah. Yeah. that's right. Yep. And again, yeah. that was a huge, like like mm. the XC to the XD, that's a big leap going from mm. a rear drive, pretty crudely built Escort mm. into this front drive Mazda mm. platform yep. that was just mm. quite a, lot, a jump, really. Mm. But the marketing was brilliant, and that car yep. was, I'm sure it was top selling um, in oh, its class it for was. some years, wasn't it? It was, yeah. The laser could not do wrong. The Amazer, wasn't laser, that the, the Amazer? Laser, laser, the Amazer. Yeah, absolutely. Well, it came off the back of the Golf then, the, mm. you know, because that was they had to go on front wheel drive, yeah. and, of course, and so everyone loved a Golf. Yeah. <laughs> they still do. <laughs> <laughs> John they raised love, his eyebrows. They yeah. didn't love so much the early ones that were built at Clayton, which the uh, not so much the build mm. wasn't quite so mm. good on those. Mm. There were a few dramas with the those. funky colours. Yeah. They looked cool, <laughs> <laughs> and they had a join the golf club sticker across the back. Join the golf club. Mm. 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 But we digress. We do. Um, so then the and then obviously the Telstar was a rebadged version of the Mazda six two six, which yeah. again was the first of the front wheel drive six two sixes. So that was a, like the engineering was changing and the 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 end of the car being driven was sort of a huge change through mm-hmm. those eighties, wasn't it? Mm, it was, yeah. And then again, that replaced the Cortina. You know, which, that's right. What a what a leap! Was a, My yeah, God. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Did you have? I mean, these cars are both. Of Japanese origin, mm. did you have any hand locally in what you could do to them design-wise? Oh yeah, that that was pretty much laid down to start with. There was a huge well, there was a budget to to you know to get differentiation from each car mm. from from Master the Master product and from Laser, you know, to Telstar. So we could usually change all the front end, yep, um, and the bumper bar, grill, headlamps, um, and then of course all the rear end. So but all the you know, passenger compartment doors and everything, roof glass had to, be, had to be retained. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I imagine they wouldn't have. They would have wanted to spend as the least amount possible. Oh, exactly. Demazdifying these products. And, and it was our job then to get the maximum amount of differentiation from yeah. one product to another, yeah. uh, using the least amount of money. So. Mm-hmm. I always thought the front of a, a three two three had sort mm. of quite a nice, happy kind of look. The laser with its, you know, um, mm. headlights and the, it had a bit more of a purposeful front end. More aggressive. It. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Thank you, John. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thank you to you. That was thanks yeah. to John. <laughs> He's like, yes, it was more aggressive. Yes, I did that. I did. <laughs> Yeah, no, uh, it, it's incredible thinking back to those cars and the, the time when, mm. you know, Australia, Australian built cars were just, just dominating. And mm. of course, the Laser and Telstar were assembled locally, and that mm. was the, the, bi- the biggest difference to mm. them. Uh, play was wonderful for local content and all mm. those sorts of well, things. Well, too. it was too, yeah. yeah. But most of the design work was done in Japan. So yes. Yeah. A lot of the prelim work was done here in Broadmeadows, but then all the major design work, all the clay work, uh, was done in Japan. So. And did you find yourself 
you know, back and forwards to Japan oh, yeah. during lots, those years. Lots of times, yeah. Mm. Yep. That would have been a great experience. It was in the early 80s. It was mm. good, good time to travel, you know, good mm. time to go to Japan. Yeah, mm. It was, was amazing. Mm. And what came after those? You know, what else were you working <laughs> on into the 80s? Well, um, good question. Um, <laughs> the, of course, at that time, the Falcon was getting a little bit long on the tooth. And mm. so there was a lot of talk about what was going to happen with that, whether it was even going to be continued or... Uh, God, they were talking about that way back then. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. This Falcon thing, do we yeah. keep going with yeah. it? Well, evidently, you did, and, yeah, and they, yeah. they did get quite good towards... Uh, well, they did, towards yeah, the end. Towards yeah, the end. Yeah. yeah. So then there was the Falcon replacement that, you know, um, happened around that time. So, yeah, that was a huge, major program. But again, like I said, there was... So that, that's going from XF to EA. E, EA, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. So you were, in, you were there for that. Mm, yep. Mm-hmm. And what were your thoughts on, you know, at the time on EAs and now looking back on EAs? Uh, well, you know, it was a good design. The, the car was good, you know. Uh, there had a, it had a lot of issues, I think, the car, you know. Um, but I think it was a good car for the time. Mm. You know, it was well accepted in the marketplace. Yeah. And all variations, you know. So that was about... Uh, 88. 88. 88. Yeah, 88. Because yeah. yeah. that and VN Commodore was sort Again. of line ball mm. close, pretty close. much. That's when they sort of started to, you know, be, yeah, like you said. Yeah, real line ball. Neck and neck. Yeah, yep. neck and neck on yeah. the mar- in the marketplace. Yeah, yeah. that's right. Mm. The Ford was such a, a better design, I thought, mm. always thought that than the, the f- um, earlier... Um, yeah. VNs. Yeah. The 14 inch wheels on the VN just looked ridiculous. Mm, they did. Yeah, crazy. <laughs> <laughs> the like, big, like a flat, shopping trolley. The big flat hubcaps. Yeah, 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 terrible. Spacey yeah, yeah, looking. Yeah. Mm. But, uh, the, the Falcon had the, the holes in the hubcaps. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Circle, 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 circle. But then, and, and then the um, Fairmont gear uh, option with the nice alloys. Oh, and they were Lots of alloys in the side. Lots of alloys died to trim those interiors. Gear badges, just stick a gear badge on here and there and everywhere. That works well. But of course, around that other time, another car that I know you had a lot of involvement in was, and it slipped my mind at the moment, but the code name for the Ford Capri. Oh, yeah. Mm. The, oh, the, the, um, SA, new the new convertible Ford Capri. SA30. Yeah. That's the SA30, that's mm. right. Um, so that was, um, and we've, we've talked about this uh, before the podcast, but it was released around the same time as another two seat. Mm-hmm. Convertible, um, yes, mm-hmm. yes, yes, <laughs> which um, w- was I've always thought was most unfortunate mm-hmm. for uh, for um, the Capri mm-hmm. because it got hammered in the. Um, mm-hmm. Well, it always got compared. Compared, and it, it sort of wasn't quite the same thing. No, exactly. You know? no, I mean, no, that, no. the Capri, the Capri was on a laser platform. Mm-hmm. That's right. You know, it was a four seater. You know, mm-hmm. I don't want to say a proper four, but it, it was a four seater. Yeah. Um, and the front MX wheel drive. front wheel drive. You know, the mm-hmm. MX five was this beautifully balanced rear drive roadster two seater. It's not really the same mm-hmm. thing. Um, so yeah, Capri would have been an interesting one. Yeah, it was good. And, and again, that was more aimed at the American market because Mercury right. were meant to take that car. Well, they did. They, they yep. did take that car and market it. But um, did they call it? What did they call they it? They call it Mercury Capri. Mercury Capri. Mercury Capri. Yep. Okay, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and um, yeah, but that was a great program to work on. It was exciting, you know, here building the car in Broadmeadows as well mm. in the Broadmeadows plant. So, and all the American bound cars had an airbag, and it was never available in Australia no, as an option. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Don't care. No, no, Aussies, that's right. Aussies, Aussies can die. Expendable. Yeah. Expendable. Yeah, expendable. <laughs> well, the American now they wear their seatbelt over there. They have yeah. to have it. That's their seatbelt. That's belt. true. Sure. Mm, Back sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's the reason. Yeah. Mm. But uh, again, like a, like a lot of uh, a lot of Aussie built cars not just Ford Holdens as well and, and even Mitsubishi's as the model progressed through to the later later mm. incarnations the XR2 mm. problem sorted roof sorted yep. great little car yeah, yeah. a really yeah, cool the little models were great mm. what was that um, the Ver- Verde the Verde, Verde, Verde was Verde. a limited Verde, yeah. edition yeah. they were Everglade I think yeah they? green yeah. Everglade Barchetta 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 yeah. Yeah. sorry I'm saying it wrong mm. yeah yeah yep. Barchetta yep. and the Club Sprint yeah too, the Club Sprint the they the just kept sprint. throwing limited editions mm. at it didn't they yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah the Club Sprint had a different rear end had the two circular that was circular yeah, yeah yeah I remember that and no back seat from memory that's that right was, I think, yeah that's right that was, yeah. Yeah, yeah that was delete, mm. uh, back seat delete, delete. Back seat to leave. And the Barquetta was a, a like a base model, wasn't mm, it? They'd actually strip right. some equipment out of that. Mm, yep. um, 
Ferrari have done that before. Mm. <laughs> but I, I don't know that the Parquetta... And they came in some different, different colours, I think, from memory. Capricorn blue and a few yeah, colours right. that you couldn't normally get. Mm. And steel wheels instead yeah. of the alloys. That's right. Yep. Yep. Mm. Yep. So if you like a base model, mm. Parquetta was mm. your car. <laughs> so Ford, for you, John, ran from 73 right to to somewhere in the 90s. 92. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then you went out of design mm-hmm. altogether. Altogether. On another tangent. Yes, I did. Yeah. Oh, you see, I don't see it as being all, altogether different. Well, it's not, mm. no, it's not out of design. Well, it's I, out of automotive <laughs> design, I should say. Yeah, I'm still creative. Well, I was, you know, I'm still yeah. creative. So, so it, it's, that creative pursuit is still there. That's mm. right. Yeah. And when, uh, when I first knew John, he, painting was always a passion, mm. um, I, I remember. And I, I, I've seen some of the most incredible artworks that he's done. And um, they would be of um, oh, Senna's race car, mm. you know, um, in mm. Marlborough McLaren race car, but it wouldn't just be a, picture, a painting of Edmund Senna's Marlborough McLaren race car. It would be at this particular mm. corner, at this particular track, in this mm-hmm. particular race. So the car was, the, the the painting was a recreation of that car on that, that day, point. Mm. at that point in the race. Yep. Mm-hmm. Um, John also has some paintings wow. hanging in the War Memorial in Canberra. Canberra, yeah. yeah. Um, but they're not pictures of planes, they're mm. pictures of this registration number at this airfield. <laughs> mm. Wow! At, at this on this in this date. Mm. This and date and when range. you painted Absolutely those, you were there, or were they uh, done from no, photos? No, 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 no they're done from photographs. Okay, and, yes. and reference. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The composite of putting a whole lot of photographs together. Yeah, actually. Yeah, 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 yeah. But that's, that's what fantastic. really just took it to a whole other level. Yeah. I think in any mm. other artwork I'd ever seen around mm. aviation or automotive, but it mm. was yeah. just so. It's not generic. It's, it's like it mm. was like a design, and that's yeah. where the design yeah. comes in. It yeah. was actually so yeah. finely tuned and designed as a mm. piece of art. Yeah. Mm. Um, do you still have some of those lying around? I do. Yes. I do. Yeah. Good. Mm. Good. 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 I did a lot of commissions <laughs> in, in that time, and in fact, um, that was uh, probably when I was doing the uh, exhibitions at Qantas yes. in the first class lounges. Yeah, all those cars and aeroplanes. Yeah. Mm. Nice. I want to see this collection. Mm. <laughs> you might have to have a gallery visit one yeah. day. And perhaps, David, a portrait could yeah. be arranged. <laughs> you know? Sitting in your uh, favourite car. Yeah, yeah. in the favourite car. Behind <laughs> you are two photographs of you know me with my pedal car yeah. and David with his pedal car. Perhaps underneath those could be an oil paint. Mm. Yeah, yeah, I've yeah. always liked that even oil paint. <laughs> <laughs> You're a dag. Yeah. Now, re- rewinding it, I want to, I want to go back because we had the Valiant. Mm. Pacer, mm-hmm. and then where did where did you go personal car wise through the years? Where did that? Well, yeah, there would have been a company access to a company car, I'm presuming. Well, and not then, not early on, but uh, not, not lowly designers. They were they wouldn't get <laughs> <yeah>. that. <laughs> God, it takes years to get a company car. Well, when I went went to Ford parking a Valiant Pacer in the car park, didn't go. Oh, down. Didn't no, go down no, to it. Like no. that. So no. no, I had to get had rid to of that. So that went, and <laughs> I got a, a Falcon V8 two door hardtop. So oh, okay. Okay. still a still mm. a hot car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was. You know, it was good. Bright yellow. Okay. Yeah. And that was your car, not, that a, was my not car. a work yeah, car. No, yeah, because they wouldn't car. give you that. No, no, no. <laughs> not, at the, not at that age and that, you yeah, know, my at that experience. Level. Mm, yeah. That level, yeah. Mm. So, so I had that for a while and yeah. then um, and then I got a, what did I have after that? Oh, an RS2000. Oh, okay. Oh, Escort. Yeah. yeah. Lovely. Hot. Mm. It was black and uh, I'd just come back from the US doing it. Um, Sort of work trip over there, yeah, and for quite a long time, nearly well over a chore months. Anyway, I came back and I felt like a new car, so I mm. bought a black RS two thousand. Wow! So it had special wheels on that and extractors and everything else, so that got the works. <laughs> I'm seeing a theme here. Yeah, yes. <laughs> Stock <laughs> standard, not good no, enough. No, no, John no. storybook here. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> have you ever any of these cars? Have you ever seen them since? Yeah, I have. I have. Oh, I okay. saw the RS two thousand. And um, I saw the the pacer as well in wow, Melbourne. Wow! Okay. Yeah, yeah. okay. And so, have you ever talked to the owner? No, it, no. I that bought was, that. It was new? just at the traffic lights. Oh my God! That's my car. Yeah. How did you tell it was your car? Oh uh, well, there was only one. Uh, well, two. There were two Chartreuse pacers that were ever built. So wow. VG. Yeah. And one, yours is one. Of them. One was one, and one. The other one stayed in Adelaide, and it had white stripes on it. And mine had black stripes, so it had to be my and car. And this one was wow. black stripes. Mm. That's amazing. Yeah. Mm. That, I would know what to do. I'd, I'd be running out of the traffic lights. <laughs> <laughs> bang, bang, bang. Do you know what? Do you yeah. know I bought this? Yeah. <laughs> so then what, what happened? At, where did we go after the Escort? Uh, well, after that, I got a company car. So I had a uh, an X, XE uh, ESP. 
Oh, yeah. Oh, three, three fifty European mm, sports yeah, pack. Yeah, exactly. Well, at least and, that's something. Yep, and with a V8. So yeah, so that, it likes that, a V8. Yeah. Yes. And that was yep. uh, the first one I had. Oh, actually, the first one was an XT, that's right. And that was red. And then I had another one, which was an XE, which was terracotta. Really lovely. Oh, nice. Oh, yes. I know that colour. Yes. Um, yes. Orange. Yeah, mm. yep. yep. I know that colour. Mm. You chose that colour. I chose that, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and selected. Mm. There's a colour theme here going yeah, on. Yeah, 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 Yellow, green, yeah. red, yep. I do Black. remember a one-off, was it Magenta Capri? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Mm. yeah. Which was that that purple, It's great when you work out the company color? and you're in design special, and you can say, oh, build, that yeah. one? Yeah. And oh, I want this colour. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah, that was okay. a special build. Yeah. yeah. Mm. I love hearing yeah. that about, especially the local stuff, you know, back in the day when cars were being produced locally, yeah. mm. that, you know, you'd hear about was the general man- manager's special order. And yeah. you'd order a different combination mm. or a yeah. fair lane yeah. interior in a Falcon or something mm-hmm. like that. Yeah. You, you know, had to let was... people know who you were in the Ford oh, absolutely. hierarchy. Absolutely, mm. absolutely. <laughs> and then, so you had a string of company cars probably right through to 92, I'm guessing. I did, yeah. yeah, yeah. Did. Any that you loved or any that you hated in that? Bunch? Oh, yeah. Well, there was a smattering of LTDs in there. and yeah, the big guns. There, there okay. was a, a V8 351 Bronco. A Bronco, <laughs> yeah. which was great for going up the snow, which yeah, is why I, yeah. why I got it. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, and then had three Capris. Okay, three different Capris. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, that was the, the Broncos weren't manufactured; they were Canadian built, I think, weren't they? Uh, or, yeah, or? yeah, they they were. But, yeah, yeah, they were. Mm. But you could still order whatever you like mm. because it came yeah. in in the same gate. Mm-hmm, that's right. <laughs> Now there was also an MGB. In MGB, there. yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now this is this is different. This is not V8. This is a you know, petite English sports car. Yeah. What, what what was the rationale behind that car? Well, there was just a group of us at Ford at the time. We there was a photographer there. He had a, an MGB, and mm. and then another guy, an engineer I work with, he had an MGB, and then. Another guy who worked in colour and trim, he had an MGB, so there was kind of a theme there. So okay. we all we all yeah. had MGB. So yeah, <laughs> right. yeah the yeah. Ford MG gang. Yeah, it was. Yeah, I, I think it was kind of a bit of a reaction to that sort of big heavy V8, um, like the antithesis, antithesis almost. Exactly. <laughs> well, and they, they were, you know, in the the eighties was the heyday of restoring MGs. Oh yeah, absolutely. Know, absolutely. Like, yeah. like yeah. A, MG workshops, workshops, which is still yes, around, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, yeah. in some form today. Um, you know, you would you would pay big money in the eighties to get mm. your MG almost over restored. Yeah, a lot yeah. of cars from the eighties. Well, the good thing is, at that time, I was going to England too and working at ah. uh, Danton, and um, so there's a tie in there. Yeah, and and lo and behold, I went to this place in Richmond that had, was the biggest sort of MGB spare parts, and I bought a set of instructors. There, there's that word again. Yes, <laughs> yes. And a, a, new con- a new console yeah. and a few other things for it and. I bought them back on the plane, so... Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. I've done that. Yeah. I did that with Land Rover Mudflaps. <laughs> did you? <laughs> Series 1 Land Rover Mudflaps. They're bloody heavy. Mm. You know, so... <laughs> my suitcase was getting towards the limit anyway. And yeah. They were, wow. and they were quite flat, but they mm. were mm, quite weighty. Yeah. Well, I, I know a certain member of this uh, podcast tonight actually took a set of Honda Legend floor mats to the UK. Yes, you in did. Luggage, you did. Which weighed 12 kilos. Wow. Because <laughs> <laughs> those Legend mats they from the 90s are of very... They were solid. They're, they're not Sound deadening. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. That's exactly That's right. Were, yeah. That's exactly right. The pile was deep. Only mm-hmm. to have the car fail in MOT six months oh, later. No. Yeah. Anyway, Where's the mats? Have you we still digress. Got, have they still got mats? I think he actually has still got them. Yeah, don't throw those. No. <laughs> you could use chair. those under your toilet. Sean, <laughs> are the mats still in the shed? <laughs> <laughs> now, fast forward a little bit. So the MGB, but at some point post that, you had... A Honda, because I that's did. how you know that's David right. through the I Honda did. Club. I did, yeah. And um, how did that car come about? Ah, uh, again, it was probably the antithesis of what we were building and, at the time. So, yeah. I, I always loved the Honda Z, and um, so I bought a Honda Z, and a friend of mine bought one as well, and then we bought another one. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Welcome and, to my world. And yeah. then an S six hundred, and an eight hundred, and a few other. <laughs> <laughs> many, many. So you Honda. went down the Honda rabbit hole I at did. the time. I did. Yeah. Yeah. But at the same time, the Honda shared a garage with the antithesis of that. That's I another. It's the so word of the night. So I think. Let's hear about I, that. Car. That was a '59 Cadillac convertible. Uh, <laughs> pink could, with a white interior. You couldn't get two more but, different uh, cars. So yeah. for, you know, for the listeners, the Honda Z is a tiny two. Two cylinder, two cylinder, two cylinder. three hundred and sixty cc, CC K coupe K car. Like that's we're right. talking, tight. if you've ever seen the film Malcolm, that's mm, that's, that's, a, that's a Honda exactly. Z, the yellow one that splits in half. That's yeah. a Honda Z. That's right. 
That's right. Mm. And I remember you telling me at the time that the Z was exactly half the length of the Cadillac. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> that is a very cool Which garage. Is, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. Yes. Room, you'd, you'd have a Cadillac on one side, Z on the other, and room for a little workshop or exactly. a painting yeah. studio or something. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Yeah, that's right. Mm. Now, that car must still be in Melbourne somewhere. The Cadillac? Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, it, uh, uh, Ralph Player bought it from Ferguson Player Bakeries. Oh, oh really? Okay. Yeah, okay. so I had it for 14 years. I'll yeah. give you 20 grand and you can have free pastries for life. <laughs> yeah. I'm guessing that wasn't the case because you're quite slim, so I'm guessing <laughs> that wasn't the deal. Uh, I still got the coffee cart. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of ticks on that coffee cart. Yeah, yeah stamp, stamp. And uh, also, on your Facebook page has a photo of that said uh, a 59 Cadillac Coupe de Ville, mm. uh, which... Was a fifty nine again because because of your design sensibilities. It was the model that had the highest fins mm. in all through that fin era. Now, so I'm getting this right. This is the one with the real pointy bullet shaped exactly. tail yep. light. That's the mm-hmm. one that would looks like a that would take your eye yeah, out if you yeah, 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 yeah. backed over. Yeah, yeah. kind yeah. of really pointy tail fin. Yep, yeah, yep. That's I know the car. Mm. So they were literally. Do you, do you a, meter off, a meter off the ground. A meter off the ground. The, mm-hmm. the top of the fins was mm-hmm. a meter off. The and did you have to import that car, or was that? No, no. It actually came to Australia via South Africa, um, and th- the guy who bought it here worked on the Snowy Mountain scheme. Oh, wow! And um, way back, and yep. then he sold it to uh, someone in Sydney, who, and then uh, two brothers bought it. Uh, the Dean brothers bought it in Melbourne. And then they took it to Queensland and it came back to Melbourne. Uh, wow. And it's a very well travelled Cadillac. Yeah. yeah. And then, Imagine the petrol it's consumed all that time. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, Brian Urban bought it down in um, Parkdale. He lived there and he was in the Cadillac Car Club. And I saw it advertised in The Age one Saturday morning. As, as we used to do. We yes. Used to yes. Be the age. yes. Yeah. Did you Motor wake market. up that Saturday thinking, oh, I'm kind of looking for a Cadillac? Or did it just. Well, a friend of mine had a collection of cars. He had a Ferrari and a Rolls Royce. And we were kind of thinking, well, you know, I should get something different, you know. Yeah. So, yeah, so I got the Cadillac convertible. Mm. <laughs> and the number plate was Fins. Fins, yeah. F-I-N-N-S. What else would you add? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Mm. absolutely. Now, there's an interesting story about that car. Again, we touched on this at dinner beforehand. Mm. There is. Uh, there was a very famous couple who yeah. rode in that car. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Tell us that story again. Well, uh, when I had the car, I was given a call by someone who was organising some celebrities to get the keys to the town hall in Melbourne. And um, it was Dolly Parton and Kenny Rogers. Who they well, wanted. howdy doody. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Driven around and um, I picked them up at the Hilton, which was the Hilton then, now it's the Portman, and took them to the top of Spring Street and then we had an escort with the um, rest point military tattoo and oh, wow. Australian <laughs> Army, and, and they, they blocked off all of um, Swanson, uh, Burke Street, Burke, oh, yep. in, into Swanson Street. As they should for Dolly and yeah. Kenny. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, royalty. Absolutely, mm. they should be blocked off for them. So we had a had had a drive all the way down there with people lining the streets, and yeah. and Dolly's wig did not blow off. It didn't blow off. No, no. <laughs> no. Was no. a bit of islands in the stream action yeah. in the back. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. That's fantastic. And is there, um, I can't think of a more appropriate car no. for Dolly than that. Oh, Absolutely. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. It was putting her in a Honda Z or an no, MPB's no, 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 a little no. bit too pedestrian for Dolly. <laughs> no, Dolly loved it. She, yeah, she was a great person to meet. Mm. Good Excellent. fun. Excellent. Mm. Yeah, we were saying at dinner, I've always heard that. You, know, you never hear a bad word said about it. No, that. no, no. She was good fun. In fact, you know, we, I was just telling you before that you know she looked around the car and got in and just was amazed that it was right-hand drive. Couldn't believe the steering wheel was on the right-hand side. I never seen yeah. that. <laughs> God damn. Yeah, we got to the uh, top of um, Spring Street, and uh, anyway, we're going to put the top down on the car. And so we put the top down, and the guy who was organising was sitting next to me. He said, turned to Dolly and said, "Well, you know, we're worried about your hair. You know, with the, the top down driving down the street." She said, "Shit, my head will blow off before my wig comes." Off. <laughs> <laughs> it's very protective. Yeah, that's right. She knows the methods. That hair's yeah. not going anywhere. She could probably give guys with toupees, you know, a good lesson on how to keep them on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's yeah. brilliant. Mm. Now, where do we uh, go from mm-hmm. here? Because I'd like to know. I know you've, you've got an MX5 currently. Mm-hmm. An ND being the latest shape of MX5. Yep. Mm-hmm. So the sports car theme is still there. Mm-hmm. And then you've got another car park next to that. Yeah, I've got a Toyota 86 GTS, uh, which I've had for 
six years. Mm-hmm. Which is a nice pair. Both pretty sporty mm-hmm. and totally useless cars. They are. Can't <laughs> fit paintings in the back. No. Well, you can, actually. You can. Oh, really? You'd be surprised what will fit in an 86. Yeah. Wow. Okay. <laughs> what sort of hatching? Back ish, yeah, I suppose. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You could fit four tires in there. So well, really? Wheels okay. and tires. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Maybe I'll think the about getting an fold down? Yeah, it does. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's mm-hmm. like an MGB GT. Yeah, just, just, yeah. Just, just exactly. Modern, a modern MGB GT. Yeah, yeah. No, I, li- I like that. That would be a lovely garage to open the door and go, oh, what will I take? I mean, mm. e- either way is good. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You know, there's no it, bad it, in there's that no garage. There's no bad day, no. There's no just, well, got to be practical. Yeah, though. yeah, no. I've never been, that, never been that person. Now, with your week, we can't let you go without talking a little bit about automotive design today. Mm-hmm. Um, Who's doing it right? Who's doing it wrong, in your opinion? Well, yeah, good question. It's all very subjective and always has been. It is, it is. But I think there are some, you know, always good designs and bad designs. But I think, on the whole, I'm not saying this because I've got a master, but I think master do it pretty right. And yep. uh, I think just about, if you look across the whole car line, there really isn't a car that stands out that shouldn't, I don't think, be there. But, um, mm. yeah, I think... You know, that's they're doing some good work. That uh, Kodo design. Kodo design. Yep. Yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, what does that, what does that stand for? Kodo design. Well, know. that was the, the, it's the surname of the designer, isn't oh, okay. it? Oh, okay. Yeah. Originally, yeah. yes. Yeah. Yeah. Which came in sort of it was that the, the Zoom Zoom ago. era? Yeah, it was. Mm. Yeah. Like your your Ma- first year Mazda threes and Mazda sixes yeah. was that that design? Yeah, that's right. Push. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Mm. But the proportions mm. are on the majority yeah. of them. Are, very very good aren't they they are and yeah the, and you look at the mx30 for instance you know even though it's an suv it's still mm. a, a very attractive car and yeah but um you know what in any any car design as long as the proportions are right that's right and that's the key they don't always the get them right even no. today mm. Mm. even today I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> what's something that you hate what's a car a car that's available currently that you're like that is wrong from a to b why does it uh well yeah, I, I just wish that the Honda Type R had been a different... Ooh. This is the Civic the Type the R. Civic Type R had been a different looking car. Okay. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Just, have you not driven one? I, hmm? Have you driven one yet? No, I haven't. No, okay. no. But the drive is not the design, David. No, 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 no that's no, true. No. And I have bought... I have bought... I have not bought cars because I thought I've got to walk out my front door every morning and, and look, look at that. Look at that. I yeah. know. And I, I, and I, I can't bring myself I to I would do love it. one, but I, yeah. Yeah, I just think you know, the poor guys didn't know when to stop. And just <laughs> 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 uh, I, I made the point on a friend's podcast that we were talking about, though, and you, I said it looks like scrunched up paper or origami that's gone wrong and then been unfolded again because <laughs> yeah. there's so many i said it's a panel beater's nightmare that no, it's just, mm, it's too, much, too much going on mm. but but uh, to drive i'm on the same page as you david it's mm. a brilliant car oh yeah drive. brilliant car yeah and I, I i would i would have one in a you know in a mm. heartbeat but i just couldn't walk out and look at and that. look at it every morning no. there you go yeah. mm. can i ask you i want to ask you about one of my all-time favorite cars mm-hmm the Mercedes-Benz uh, SL from the 60s, the Pagoda. Oh, yeah. Um, that's like my hero, hero mm-hmm. dream car. Mm-hmm. What do you think of that as a piece of design? Oh, it's timeless. Gorgeous. We're on the same page then. We are. Good. Yeah. <laughs> We're still friends. Okay, I thought you might have said, I really don't like it. Either. No, no, no. That's... So have you got a top three cars, <clears throat> design-wise, that, that you think are probably the three best cars? Or three of the best cars? Pagoda. Well, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, Another two then. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, there's a couple of Citroens there that I really like, the, the Traction Event. And, and, yep. yeah. and even, you know, in that same era, that uh, BA20 Lancia, you know. Mm. The, um, but then the Citroen DS, yes. you know, 53. Hard to go past. I know. Very hard to go past. Yeah, I just think that was just an absolute watershed car. Mm. Still looks good. Mm. And, and we've talked about this before, I think, but to mm. think that that was launched in 1955, mm. to think what, what was around in 1955, and then you had that. <coughs> That's right. It would been like something from outer space. Exactly. The land. public must yeah. have just stood there with their mouths mm. open. Looking and that single spoke steering wheel. Yeah. Just amazing. And all that, you know, hydro pneumatic. Yeah. You know, you know, suspension. I think the car was originally displayed at the Motor Sh- Paris Motor Show on four great big balls, wasn't it? It was, yeah. Yeah, yeah so it was. Instead of I've wheels, it had, yeah, 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 it had yeah. four like giant beach balls yeah, that's under right. each yeah, car. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, incredible. Riding on air. Mm. Mm. Yeah. You know, when you think about all the English cars at the time, like the oh. Austin Somerset and whatever. Exactly. <laughs> like it's Triumph Mayflower. Oh, yes. 
Mayflower, how racy. And then he had uh, the DS people, boom. Yeah, yes, I know. Yeah. It was just uh, light years away. And, and they used it in the, you know, Back to the Future movies, yeah. uh, which we all know and love from the, from, from the mm. 80s. You know, the Citroens were in the Back to the Future 2, you know, as mm. the, the flying taxis in the That's air. That's right. Yeah. And it's like, it came out in 1955, right. yeah. but they're still like, oh, this is the future. Yeah, exactly. It, it was an interesting choice, yeah. but a very apt choice. There yeah, was yeah. another show I was watching not long ago. They wanted Simon Baker. The Mentalist. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yep. Yep. He, he drives a DS in that. Mm. And I thought, okay, okay, I get that. That's, mm. you know. Yep. You probably got to be a little bit mental to drive. Mm. Like <laughs> Actually, years ago, I remember having a, um, I fell in, literally fell into a Mark I golf convertible. Mm-hmm. So it was When you a, say you fell in, did you just walk, <laughs> was the top down and you just tumbled well, in? Well, it was literally sitting sad and unlike the side of the road. A glance from the footpath and mm. suddenly, and, uh, I'm in it. <laughs> and I owned it yeah, within mm. a week. Um, <laughs> And I can remember having that car down um, my uh, in-laws had a beach house at, down the peninsula. And I remember driving through down the back road into Sorrento thinking, how lucky am I? I've actually got the coolest car here. Mm. Your Ferraris and all that are all a bit passe, you yeah. know. Mm-hmm. And here I am in my Mark One Golf convertible. <laughs> yeah. And it was a, a rabbit conversion. Mm-hmm. So it had the US bars, oh, it was yeah, yeah. triple white, white alloys, white roof, white body. It was, yeah. it was very cool. Mm. And there was an ad for uh, one of those um, mixer drinks, um, Island Cooling years oh, ago. Yeah, yeah. And what's the coolest car in the world? It was, that was one of those. Yeah, so yeah. I'm, going, I'm going with that. <laughs> yeah. um, but I turned into uh, down into Sorrento, the main street of Sorrento. I get nearly to the bottom and blow me down there's a Decotabile oh, sitting wow. so Gee. a Citroen DS which is a two door yeah. DS convertible yeah, yeah. sitting yeah. parked on the mm. side of the road I thought it was a Sh- Decapitable that's right Chevron, Chevron design Chevron, yeah, yeah. and I just thinking damn mm. I okay. did have the coolest car <laughs> on the peninsula now. until that moment yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh, wow. But no, absolutely stunning mm. things. Even the yeah. CX after the yeah, DS yeah. was still well, just such a... I had one of those too, yeah. A beige one? Yeah, a beige. Yeah, yeah, CX 22, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, I remember that car. Yeah, yeah. They, they were amazing mm. looking cars. Yeah. We were all those too long now. Yeah, I don't know, but I, I like them. Mm. Mm. I even like the little GS, the baby. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. GS. They did a wagon and the, yeah, yeah. the hatchy one, and yeah. I like them both. They were cool. Yeah. Nice. Guys. And the Amy... Yeah, this trend. I mean, yeah. They were never sold here, though, were no, they? No, no, no. They yeah. were all imports, I yeah, they think. Were. Yep. Mm. So is there any car that you haven't had that you'd like to have? Wow, yeah. Um, good question. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's probably no one answer to that either. But I've never had a Porsche, and I've always wanted to have one. So, okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay, well, time. there's a whole... An air-cooled one. Yep. Oh, yeah. definitely air-cooled. Proper, okay. proper, proper, mm. proper. So, Porsche. chrome bumper? Yeah, chrome bumper. So, early car? Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm. There's a few paintings. A couple more that. paintings. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> they have gone absolutely crazy. I love that what Singer are doing in the in California with the, yes. the 911. Yeah, yeah. 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 Just, they, I mean, they take the essence of a 911 and really tweak it and make it their own, don't they? They do. And they, well, yeah. they reimagine it basically. They reimagine yeah. the car. Yeah. yeah. But isn't that interesting mm. from a design perspective? Mm. That's an old design too, like mm. a very old design yeah. being reinterpreted and tweaked, mm. but um, but still as as desirable today as mm. it was back then. Yeah. I mean, the, we spoke a little earlier too that a similar car is the Honda NSX, which mm. is now basically a thirty, almost a thirty-seven year old design, uh-huh. but that's still. A stunning looking car mm. to see see one today you would not guess that was a 37 year old design no, no. It when, feel you, like it. when you describe the pagoda as timeless i think mm. i think there are not a lot of cars that can be put in that sort mm. of category mm. there are um probably the um, ferrari dino probably is yeah ferrari one. dino the original na mx5 yep there you go. Put that timeless, in. You own one of them. Yeah, yeah, yep. it's got one of those. <laughs> but then a, a people said that was actually a reincarnation, if you like, of the Lotus Sea Land. Mm. So you I mean, it had elements of a land. The, you know, it, it was, certainly did. Yeah, it mm. certainly definitely did. did. Mm. Yeah, it, it was similar. I mean, it was probably an inspiration, and that's happened through you know automotive history too. Of cars, course, cars have inspired other cars. You know, that's, mm. that's just music inspires other music. Exactly. Painting inspires uh, other painting. It's you know, always going to happen. Exactly, it's always going to happen. We can look forward to the next generation or the next interpretation of the KB Laser Gear. Mm. I think. There'll yeah. be something. <laughs> maybe not by Ford, but maybe one of the other brands will, will uh, yeah. steal, you know, that heritage. It'll probably be electric. Yeah. yeah. It'll be an EV with an angry little purposeful face. And <laughs> yeah. we'll go, John Burt did that. Uh, yes. <laughs> I love it. Well, well that's, I think that's, that's probably all we've got time for. I think, mm. I think it's yeah. been fabulous 
hearing some of those stories that I've never heard before. Oh, it's been good. And mm. um, and hearing a little bit from somebody that knows what they're talking about as mm. far as design. So mm. thank you for joining us. Mm. If you'd uh, like to know more about John, you can find him. Uh, his website is johnorlandobert.com, B-I-R-T dot com. Um, and he can even teach you to paint. Mm. If, have a look on his website Ooh. and check it mm. out. Maybe he'll get you to teach me to do a painting of a pagoda. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> Aha! take a while. Yep. <laughs> yeah, not a Japanese <laughs> temple, no. No, that's right. <laughs> Although well, it would pr- probably be easier. Yeah, Actually, yeah. you could do one five pagoda Mercedes stuck on top of each other. Oh, yeah, like five storied pagoda. Wow, all diminishing in size as they go I up. I like the exactly. idea. Exactly. What a great exactly. idea. Yeah. There you go. Gee. We'll talk guess about what, this guess after. Guess what I'm doing tomorrow. <laughs> 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 Thank you very much, John. It's been great okay. fun. Yeah, it's been good fun. Thanks. Thanks, Thanks David. David. As always, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Hmm.